I am building a society of people who live in this space. People who do worship Him, the Holy Ghost. Can you hear this? The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. John chapter 4, verse 24. God is a spirit. Say, God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, before this, we know that Jesus here is talking to a Samaritan woman. And she asked him about where they should worship God. So Jesus is answering her question. But a whole lot more revelation came out than just that. Yes. God is a spirit. And they that. Say they that. They that. Worship him. Say worship him. Worship him. Now we have a they that worship him which automatically mm -hmm. makes that a class of people that are differentiated from they that don't worship him yes. can you understand that mm -hmm. he said god is a spirit and they they that worship him right mm -hmm. must worship him in spirit and truth but they're separated in a way from they that don't i didn't do it he did it with his word by saying that yes they that worship him well i've chosen i've chosen to own this verse of scripture sort of around the beginning of the year you know you can choose things you too you do the choosing well this verse of scripture i have chosen to own it doesn't mean i have the sole rights to it you can you can have some of it too but i've chosen to own it meaning i'm putting this scripture into myself by daily purchasing it daily purchasing it by saying it with my words mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. at least 20 minutes a day i say this verse of scripture really yeah at least god is the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth they that worship him are my people you can say my kind of people but they're those are my people they that worship him mm -hmm. they that worship him they are my people. my people as opposed to they that don't worship him we go here we that worship him go here in spirit and truth it's a place where they that don't worship him can't go right. well it says must they that worship him must i looked this up it literally reads absolute necessity mm -hmm. they that worship him must of absolute necessity mm -hmm. if you're going to worship him worship him in spirit and truth now you don't have to like me believe it or not there are people that don't like me but if you choose to go here where i'm talking about worshiping the spirit god the spirit of god the holy ghost you know that's who we're talking about right mm -hmm. if you choose to go here and worship him well that's where i am i didn't say you have to wear a bow tie even though bow ties are cool mm -hmm. you don't have to wear do you have to wear a bow tie no, no. no. you have to worship him yes. the holy ghost mm -hmm. say I have, I have to worship him, worship him. Yeah. well if you worship him the holy ghost you're going to where i am i'm there i am there are you here yes. well this is where i've come to it's who i am and it's where you'll find me 
<laughs> in this room of Holy Ghost worship and I've spoken about this at length there is a room that you enter into it's a place you can't get to without going through that door of worshiping him yes. I am a they that worship him mm -hmm. no I don't like that that's too bad but if you start to worship him maybe you'll like me some more because I'm in this room there's also angels in this room and one of those angels said to me if you remember mm -hmm. he said I don't have anything to do with those who don't worship him well I am a they that worship him the Holy Ghost and these are my people and they that don't worship him the Holy Ghost really aren't is that my fault no it's not my fault they chose I've chosen to go here that's where I am I'm in this place and so are they that worship him in spirit and truth we're going to talk about that tonight I am building a society of people who live in this space people who do worship him the Holy Ghost can you hear this people who do worship him the Holy Ghost in spirit in truth well I've come to a new place even now you understand I've come to a new place and some people don't understand that kind of language because they have been in the same place for 40 years what do you mean you've come to a new place see they've never gone to a new place I go to a new place and a new place and a new glory and a new glory it's never outside the scriptures you understand yes. but I've changed I didn't used to do the things I'm doing now I didn't walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today the way I do now because I'm in this room of worshiping him well I've been given a manifestation of the Holy Ghost that I didn't have before I have it now it's a manifestation of the Lord of spirits first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7 but the manifestation that means revealing that means unveiling say unveiling. unveiling you know we've talked about that before right mm -hmm. the unveiling of the Spirit or the manifestation of the Spirit the Holy Ghost is given to every man to profit with all simply means to profit with mm -hmm. old English word which means with mm -hmm. the manifestation or the unveiling of the Spirit is given to every man so don't don't get mad at me if I say I have a manifestation of the Spirit I'm in every man and he's revealed or unveiled himself to me first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom or man's doctrine but in demonstration of the spirit again that word unveiling unveiling of the spirit my speech and my preaching is in unveiling of the spirit are you here mm -hmm. well I am unveiling him people don't like it stop unveiling him no I know who he is he is the Holy Ghost he is the Lord of spirits they that worship him he's the Lord of spirits that worship him he is not Jesus he's the one Jesus sent say the one, the one. Jesus sent Jesus now I was thinking about that he is the one person and Jesus knew he was a person he Jesus sent him say him, him to be in the earth to fulfill this entire dispensation until everything is done Jesus sent him one person say one person. one person now forget my language here but that's pretty badass yes. 
he's a dude he can do it jesus sat down meaning jesus isn't doing it jesus sat down and sent the holy ghost knowing that the holy ghost would be able to fulfill everything that needs to be fulfilled yes he sent one person they that worship him in spirit and truth you worship him in that mm -hmm. did you get that though mm -hmm. i mean jesus paid the price for everything to be fulfilled to redeem man from everything right mm -hmm. yes. and then one being one person we know he's god you wouldn't send an angel to do that no angel would have that power yeah. he's the holy ghost he's god he's pretty awesome isn't he yes john chapter 4 in verse 24 again god is a spirit so many translations most of them modern say in there god is spirit does any of you say that it says god is spirit sounds spooky doesn't it god is spirit he's spirit he's he, ooh. Mm -hmm. spooky sad as translators they should have known better yes. i mean all i have to do is look it up in the original mm -hmm. languages and i can tell that's not the way it should be translated mm -hmm. at least the king james version says god is a spirit mm -hmm. that's different than god is spirit mm -hmm. right he's a spirit yeah. jesus didn't send spirit go team go <laughs> go team go into the earth he sent a singular person holy ghost into the earth yes. to fulfill a job shouldn't you know him mm -hmm. at least the king james version says god is a spirit and the aramaic bible in plain english in my opinion got it right it says this the spirit is god yes. literally it reads spirit is god but proper english requires us to put a the in front of it to make it make sense yeah. the spirit is god god is a spirit the spirit is god get that straight he is a spirit he is the spirit of truth jesus said that john 16 12 i have yet many things to say unto you but you can't bear them now mm -hmm. you can't handle it how be it when he the spirit of truth who did jesus call him he said he the spirit of truth mm -hmm. say he, he the spirit of truth. The spirit of, truth. the spirit of truth is a person mm -hmm. he's a he that's his name he has other names but that's his name he's the spirit he's the spirit of truth when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth again with the translation sadly for he shall not speak of himself that is truly unfortunate because he does speak of himself it literally should read he shall not speak away from himself or off of himself he's the spirit of truth he won't speak anything but the truth that's what that's saying how can he if he's the spirit of truth he can't speak anything but the truth that's what he speaks now i realize this is the mhgs translation yes he can't speak anything but the truth he is the spirit of truth what should the spirit of truth speak what if the spirit of truth spoke something that wasn't the truth he would no longer be the spirit of truth are you seeing this yes. doesn't mean he won't talk about himself he's so meek and mild he won't speak about himself. that's ridiculous how many times in the bible there was a talk about the holy ghost yes. well those are words written by the holy ghost mm -hmm. he's speaking about himself anyway that's another message but he will only say only, only. speak this he will only speak truth yes. mm -hmm. 
what do you suppose worshipers must speak those who worship him what are they gonna say they're only gonna speak truth they worship him in spirit and in truth, truth. they worship him by saying the truth yes. are you here yes. I remember reading that going what is up with that Holy Ghost and he said he can't speak anything but the truth truth is either truth or it's not mm -hmm. it's absolute it's incorruptible his words are incorruptible when he says something it's truth whether it looks like it or not yes well he is a spirit he is the spirit of truth and if you worship him he knows who you are mm -hmm. and there is a reward for worshiping and knowing him the holy ghost the spirit of truth there's reward for it mm -hmm. hebrews 11 verse 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to yes. God yes. who are we talking about this evening God who is a spirit who is the spirit of truth yes. right he that comes to God must believe that he say he he, he is mm -hmm. now your belief that he is can expand is what he is a spirit he is in the earth he is the one Jesus sent into the earth to be with us mm -hmm. he is mm -hmm. is he must believe that he is he is and that he is what a rewarder of them that diligently seek him do you believe he is yes. Do you believe he's a he? Yes. Do you believe he is in the earth? Yes. Do you believe he's the one Jesus sent to be in the earth? Yes. Do you believe he is a rewarder? Yes. Of those who diligently seek him or diligently worship him. Yes. God is a spirit, they that worship it must, must in spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this? Yes and he knows who you are if you're worshiping him mm -hmm. worshiping him is seeking him he rewards they that who's the they that they that worship him yes. for he that comes to god must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that I'm a them that I'm a they that and he rewards me yes. then he told me let them know that as you know him as the Lord of spirits that worship him that their wealth shall be secured how can you know that you're rewarded for diligently worshiping him say I'm rewarded, I'm rewarded. for diligently diligent. worshiping him worship him must worship him in spirit and truth we walk with him by speaking truth God is a spirit and we walk with him by speaking truth the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we worship him and walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word his word is truth yes. he will only speak truth and also they that worship him will only speak truth yes. it's part of your worship and that's where your reward comes from Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard the word this evening and they have been changed into someone who before didn't worship you and have been changed into they that do worship you 
and as they learn to worship you and walk with you by speaking truth your word the reward will become evident and secured unto them we thank you that the blessing is upon them and all their family and all their finances right now in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost thank you that i am blessed by you for i am they that worship you and your reward is with me right now i'm favored i'm blessed i'm increased in every way in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand holy ghost your god in the earth to 